Hey, so last video we did for each faces a for loop. And from what you can see here, let me clear this for a second. Make it a little bigger. Okay. From what okay, that's too big. Alright, so from from what you can see here, this is the code this is where I left off from the last video where I showed you the difference between using a for loop and using for each to print out each element inside this array. And I told you that a for each uh, has an iterator over here where the iterator accepts the each element of the array and does something to it. So let me show you how this works. Let me show you the result of this actually. Okay, it looks like I have more than one, okay. Okay, as you can see, red, blue, green, yellow. So it prints it out. And then you can see the, f the for loop above. So they both do the same thing, but again, the for each is easier, it's cleaner, and it's quicker. Now, what I want to go to is I want to explain the difference between using a for each and a map. What's the biggest difference between using a for each and a map? So before I get started, let's... Uh, you know what, before just giving you the definition plain out, let me show you what a uh, for each cannot do and what a map can do and you can e and you by yourself will see the, the main difference. So let's say we have an array of numbers. Uh, one, two, and three. So what do I want to do to this number? So my goal is, the goal is to double is to square actually no it's to double is to double each element each element and and uh, uh, is to double each element in the array in the array that's the goal and return the array well, actually no let's not say it like that double, just say double each element in the array okay so now, my goal now is this. Let's let's uh, let's start with a for each statement. To do this with a for loop, it's pretty simple. It's probably uh, it's it's probably not worth it. It's it's it might be a little messy, but let's see. Um, numbers dot for each. Now I'm gonna call it number singular. Pass the iterator function. Again, m my goal is to is to double each element in the array. So let me think about how I want to do this. How do I want to do it? Well, I can say this. You know what? Let's say I can say const. Let's call this doubled. Let's see return return um, number times two let's see this now let's see what's gonna happen here I, I'm sure this is not going to work but let's see why that's the go let's clear this node map nothing obviously nothing because I haven't I, I did not call it let's see um, console dot log doubled let's see undefined I got undefined okay so that's interesting obviously I'm doing something to each element the iterator is multiplying each number by two but it's being undefined why is that let's think about that for a little bit well you know what what about if let's change things around a little bit? What about if we just did? Um, what about if we did? We we take this. Let's try something you know unique. We take this, define it here. Let's use and let's use let because we end up changing. Our goal is to change the value of numbers, so it's not a constant. And I'm gonna erase this. It looks a little messy. My apologies for that. And now let's say double equals that now what do you think what, what do you think is gonna happen here let's think about it 
We are taking each element, we're multiplying it by 2. So double is going to equal 1 first, then it's going to equal 1 times 2 is going to be 2, 2 times 2 is going to be 4, 3 times 2 is going to be 6. So it's actually going to return 6, just 6. That's not what I want. What I want is this. If you're confused as to my goal, this is my goal. I want to see something like this. 1, 4, 1, no, I'm sorry, 2, I say double, 4, and 6. That's what I want to see. And I don't think this right here is going to give it to us. Let's see. No, but 6. All it gives us is the last element. So obviously this is wrong. So, I mean, one way to actually do this, this is not, I mean, you can, let, you know what? Let's try something else. Let's try this. Now, I know I'm intentionally going this route, by the way. So just to prove a point. So let's see. Let's see what happens. This is this is nice. Then this is node. See, I got two, four, six, but that's not really what I want. Yes, I get the element individually, but I want it in an array. I want it just like this. I want it with the brackets to the left, the brackets to the right. So. Obviously, that's uh, that you know that's in the 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 values are correct, but the 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 format is wrong. So now the reason why I keep saying that is that what for each does is this. You can I mean it's pretty obvious now that for each takes each element one by one and it does something to it. So it takes that one and it multiplies it by two and it prints it out right away. It takes the 2, multiplies it by 2, and then prints it out right away. It takes the 3 and multiplies it by 2, and then it prints it out right away. So that's exactly what is happening. It doesn't store it anywhere. Now, let's use something else. Let's use math. And let's do, a, you know, let's, let's do return number times 2. And then let's let's save it onto double. Actually, since I'm not changing this, this is actually staying constant. I'm sorry, I thought I was going to change it. So that's con constant means you don't you do not change it. All right, so let's see. Let's see the difference. Okay, nothing. That's because I have not coded. it. Silly. Bingo, beautiful. You know, even if, let's say we don't want all that fancy writing. Let's just put the word. Let's just do that. Beautiful. You see that? Brackets, two, four, six. Now we can see the difference in map and in for each. Map returns an array. An array with the result inside the array. Whereas for each takes each element and operates on each element. I hope that clarifies. I have more examples of using math. This is very trivial. My next examples will be a little more challenging. Thank you.